there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of Cricut videos with tips and tricks and projects and do this, do that, this will make it easy. It's a lot of information. So I've compiled all that information and got you the top tips that are going to help you when you're starting out. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is connecting your Cricut. I thought I had to download it and then I was going to connect it, but just connect the Cricut and then continue on because for some reason until your Cricut's connected it gets kind of upset with you. So create your account, connect your Cricut, and you should have a lot less issues. What's the first project and what comes in the box? So when you open up the box, the first thing that you get is a light grip mat. At the very bottom are the connector cables for your computer and the charger. It comes with the Cricut 0.4 black tip pin and you use it for your first project. You get all the materials you need to make the first project and you get the book. Now the first project is this little card. It just says enjoy. They don't give you full pieces of paper for this either, which I was kind of shocked about because I had this pre-thought notion that you had to use full pieces of paper, but you don't. You can use little pieces of paper to utilize scraps and different things like that. Some tools that you're gonna need, there's a bunch of attachments and all this Cricut stuff that you can get. And then you'll pretty much look like a Cricut craft shop just threw up in your house. You don't need all that stuff. I would really just recommend I'm not an expert. And it depends on what you're making too. The first things that you're going to need though are a lint roller to clean your mat. So this is to get off any felt that you have on here, any scraps, just to make sure that your mat's clean. Next is the scraper. Just use a gift card, like an old one. You don't need to buy the expensive Cricut tools. You can go to Harbor Freight and get some of the wood chisel tools and use that. I ended up getting that for my sister because she's going to be doing a lot of vinyl projects versus me who's more into cards and stickers and that good stuff. You want to actually peel the mat and keep the paper straight. Let me show you why. This is what happens. So just remember, peel the mat. It's not going to hurt the mat. The mat will be okay. When you are in design space, if you insert an image, whether that be from anywhere, whether you uploaded it or not, there is this little teeny tiny lock circle on the left hand side and that's going to determine whether your shape moves proportionately. What you need to do is click on that lock and then you can change the width and the height to exactly what you want. There is no crop tool. Crop is your best friend. It's mine, so when I didn't see it on there, I kind of freaked out and was like, what the heck? How can you have a program without a crop button? So what you need to do is, yes, use the slice tool, but you also need to use a shape. So what you need to do is insert a shape, put it on top of whatever you want to crop, and it'll crop that part out. And it'll give you a bunch of different pieces to play with and to throw away. When I was inserting text and trying out like different types of text and everything, I spent a lot of time scrolling through the ones that you have to pay for, and that can be frustrating and take up a lot of time. Instead, here's a simple solution. All you need to do is click on the button that says Systems, and that is all the free text that you have available to you. Alright, so I chose this nice font, but I don't exactly like the letter spacing. You can actually change that by going up to where it says Letter Spacing and downsizing it a bit. The letter spacing looks better, but it still could get better. So what you're gonna do is press ungroup, and then you can move each individual letter to make them closer together or further apart, depending on your preference. Once the letters look exactly the way you want, make sure to group them back together, and then attach them. So if you don't attach them, this is what's going to happen and it looks like a jumbled up mess and then you'd be sorting through all different kinds of letters and it would just be a nightmare. So press the attach button in order to group the letters together on the page, well on the mat. But if you don't want it to do a print and cut, then what you need to do is highlight all of the letters, go up to the top where it says fill options and click no fill. And this will make it so it just cuts out all the letters together. So when I inserted stuff into design space, I was not expecting it to put it onto different mats, but duh, the Cricut is a cutting machine. It wants to cut 
paper. That's what it was designed for. So when you are creating, say, a sticker or a print and cut, you need to tell the machine. You need to actually flatten it and that's how it'll cut it out as a unit rather than as individual pieces. The fact that you cannot save an image that you've created on Design Space. Yeah, like why isn't that a thing? You can save the project, but you can't save the image and say drag it to Instagram or drag it to any other type of platform. So the way to get around that is actually to just screenshot it or to use another platform besides Design Space to actually design. <laughs> what I found the most helpful was actually just screenshotting the is screenshotting in multiple different areas and kind of breaking it up in different ways because if you just screenshot overall you're just going to get a blurry image and that's not helpful for anyone.